right. So this video is brought to you by this shirt. <laughs> Sure. And what's your shirt say? Um, I had a you close can't up. read it now because you're too far away from it, huh? No, I had it zoomed in. That's you'll see it when it gets oh. when it gets up there. Just like I can uh -huh. move the camera around and call it a day. Yep. So, uh, so uh, why do dudes have Ken bums and don't come with dicks? I don't know. I don't Are know. you allowed to say that word on YouTube? Yeah. Really, I don't know. really? It's it's just not for kids, right? It's always marked for not for kids. Hey, but I can say though, right now, that at least right now, the one good thing that came out of this whole thing is that I don't have to deal with two stoner people that think they're funny. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> now we just got to deal with duh. Yeah. Damn it! Did we really? Did we really well, go you, up a little bit on are, that? I think we did. I, th I, I think know. I went up about, I think I went like four steps above and I'm still kicking the people down below him going, get the oh. fuck out of here. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh well, yeah. I don't, oh, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I don't know. You got the, you know, the ideas for this show. I do, because it's kind of like, um, I know a little birdie told us, or told me, that the the 6 a.m. set at the Slag Center um, was um, was horrid, and uh, I was just like, well, yeah, I could have saw that coming, but, um, you know, <laughs> uh, it's going to be fun. And then there's the sexism part, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as uh -huh. I saw in the last week where... They took on two crappy female DJs and left um, a halfway decent male DJ with his dick in the wind. Oh, it's a windy penis for flying this helicopter wave. So, <laughs> so, so the way I look at it is it's, it's, uh, it's um, their anti-penis. <laughs> oh, well, that doesn't surprise me. All right, that's all I had to say. So that took up, what, all of uh, two and a half minutes. Okay. Two and a half minutes of I got a Ken Buck. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I, I'd like to touch my Ken Buck with a sock. Oh, <coughs> oh Lord. And God. the only thing, other thing I wrote down too was uh, was about SL relationships and their and their bunch of horrid ways to go. And we know a, a couple of relationships, and it seems it's all related to the country from up north. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I've had bad luck. Uh, yeah, it's just bad luck. It doesn't matter what country you're from. No, I agree. I agree. But it's just lately. But, it, you know, I don't know. I've only had, what, three relationships in SL? And that's pretty much my thing. It's yep. all I've had is three, and that's it. No more. Yep. Not doing it again. I mean, if, if this one fails, <laughs> I think I'll just create like a... I'll just put a, vangi a mangina on and just walk around and call it a day. I, you pretty much already have a mangina, so what oh, are you talking about? Oh, really? Yeah, you got the kin bumps, you're just missing the slit. Well, the hair does go in that kind of a V direction, so yes, it could technically it have one. <laughs> yeah. And I'm constantly <laughs> having sand in it. Oh Why are you letting <laughs> sandpaper Sally touch you down there? I don't gotta know. make it sandy. It's got a grit shit. Oh, I said shit. Oh, I fuck. I said shit. That's how. That's how they keep the pubes trimmed with some sandpaper. Oh my god. Sandblast that off. Yeah. <laughs> sandblast your. Sandblast your kid bump. Brought to you by sand. Cause she was sandy. Well, at least it wasn't brought to you by log. Well, oh. Log's been taken. Red is the log. So, do you wonder what's in your butthole? No. I don't either. It was a cute Never song. Never cared. Though. Yeah, it was a cute song. It is a cute song. You're quiet over there, Ruvine. I, I, I don't know what to really add to this conversation, because you guys are just all over the place. Yeah, we have no sense of direction. Uh, no, there, yeah, there really isn't. We have a penis. We just follow it. 
Yeah, pit points up, we go up. Pit points <laughs> down, we go down. It hangs left, we go left. It hangs right, we go right. We're simple creatures, that's all. That's it. That's all it is. We have that brain to dictate our lives. I'm like, you just, know. just let us know you're alive and you care, and you know, you make a guy feel loved, and we're cool, you know. And if you touch it, we just flop around, and yeah. And if you touch it, we go, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. gotta blow. <laughs> yep, we are simple right. people. Yep, we guys are very simple. You know, it's okay, man. Just give us our steak and our like whatever. Yeah. Mm. And then touch it once in a while and, you know, reaffirm that you care about us. And don't leave us hanging for, like, months on end. Like, what are you, like, are you not? I do you, have you been adopted by aliens? Yeah. Oh, speaking of aliens, it's like those new beaches. I went to one the other day. Uh-oh. Yeah. And they all just stand around. Like, they were dropped off after being adopted, abducted by aliens. Yeah. And they're it's... just standing there, like, in shock because they're... The other regions are still like been violated, and they're like, oh, I can't believe that just happened. I don't know. Nobody says nothing there. It's like, what the, what the hell? So I go to another one. It's the same thing. They all just stand around, like, oh. Went to a place. Oh. That, went to a place to see a DJ at one place, yeah. and there was maybe three people dancing, and everybody else was just standing there. Yeah, same way, looking kind of like zombies. Uh, it's like, what the hell? Brains. You know? Oh, Rain. this is the bestest new ba- nude beach I ever been to. And, like, there was like nobody nude anyway. They were all dressed standing on the grass area. Like, oh, to drink some beer and we'll stand here. That's an interesting thing to do, huh, Ruin? Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should go to a nude beach and do our thing and um, just kind of record everybody that flocks around to watch. Um, <laughs> there would be a lot of pixel bars, you know, covering the bits. Well, we wouldn't <clears> really <throat> be able to upload that without the bars. I have sensor stuff. I have sensor bars to wear. Well, yeah, but not the other people. Well, no, that's true. I mean, um, still, it'd be kind of interesting, don't you think? It would, so, but like I said, I don't think we would be able to necessarily upload it up to YouTube if you um, were showing other people's uns- uncensored bits. Or, or their uncensored alt bits, because you got some of those oh, people yeah. that run 200 alt. And then you, then they're like, oh no, I only love just you. We're, we're going we're gonna to lock you in and make you spin going on while I'm off running around pumping half a second live. So that's the thing. You bring somebody that you're pretending to be your own ex, and then you accidentally shut the lid on your laptop, and you see like four avatars log out at the exact same time. <laughs> like, ha ha ha, busted! Oh, I'm surprised mm-hmm. you haven't been to those other places where they're the, the, uh, what's it, the, the AFK places. Why? No, I'm just, I mean, I, I remember I had been to one with a group of other people, and, uh, we were just walking around, and it's like just looking at their tips and everything. It's like, oh, they must be pretty popular, but there's nobody behind the Avi. They're just hanging out there. Yeah, uh, it's easy money, I guess. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm like, well, I don't go to those. What's the point? It's a, it's an avatar it's just sitting there, and you're like wondering, am I gonna get AIDS? <laughs> am I gonna get some pixel herpes? Have to go to the monkey pixel pox. <laughs> yeah, I get some monkey pox. Who knows what's been in there? I don't know. No, I don't. I, I was trying to remember the the, the uh, product from what was it a couple years ago, or actually a couple more than a couple years ago. It was a few years ago. What the hell is? Oh crap! I can't think of the name of that. What's, oh, the Excite. Remember the Excite parts? No, I don't. Know. Yes. The, you could go to their sim, at one point, and you could get revirginized. Revirginized. Yeah. Yep. How do they stick your splooge back up in there? I don't know, but I'm like, how the hell does that work? You can't do that shit in real life. Never alone, you know, going somewhere in the virtual world and going, yeah, make me a version Well, you again. could if you, like, lost your entire memory from, like, some kind of horrible accident where you bang your head so hard you don't remember Jack Squat. Well, that may be true, but your body's still going to tell a different story. And how comes your long lost, long lost love that you don't even know who they are? Like, get away from me, you creepy lady! 
well, they probably created that option because of so many people that cheat in here. You know? So, oh no, I cheated and my bits caught that. I need to go wipe it off before my partner goes in and starts looking. Uh, yeah. Not like mm -hmm. those parts actually keep track of how many times they've been used. And um, I can tell you that there's a certain system that puts a layer on you. Uh -huh. Um, that does keep track. Mm. Well, I don't know what how many there times, is. how many places, uh, well, at certain places of your body, and by who, and yeah, it does. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's called, it's not mine. So um, do you have a long list? N no. <laughs> no. It's not mine. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's Someone else? Oh, it's not mine. Yep. It's someone mm, else's yeah, uh, splooge. Ew. Well, you know, I don't care if somebody's a hoe or not. Just be an honest hoe. Right? You yeah. know? None of them are honest. Seriously. Like, really? Like, I'm going to, like, drive all the way up to wherever the heck it is you live, like, on the other side of the planet, and go, you are naughty, 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 and then drive all the way back to my house. Like, really? Who cares? Uh, I don't uh, care. I don't care what people do out here. I don't get into other people's relationship stuff because it's just like you know that's your thing. You keep that over there. I don't care what you do. Yeah. But if you're, if somebody wants to be involved involved with me, it's like you better you know just be an honest hoe. I don't care. <laughs> you know. Don't lie to me, because then I'm not going to trust you ever again. I, I won't believe, but once somebody lie, feels the need to lie to me, um, I, and I find out, I don't never believe a thing they say to me a, a, after that. Even if it's the truth, I'm not going to believe it. He's like, well, you know, I don't trust you. Because you keep telling me weird stories that don't make sense. No, they never make sense. Like, there where I was running down the street. And my pants fell down around my ankles, and I tripped on them, and I fell on some strange man's penis. That's how it happened. True story, man. Like, what? Wasn't there a line from a movie like that? Would you trip and fall on his dick or something? I have no idea. I've been saying that before. since, what, my first girlfriend from high school. Love junior high school. She was like, she, she was like, she was called the de-virginizer. <laughs> <laughs> this is your job, and that's all you yeah, do. That was, her, that was her sole job, is to find the virgins in school and give them a smile to remember her by. Ah, uh, see, oh, I remember high school. There was... This was junior high. I was dared. Don't tell you to go sleep with her. Okay. So I did. Wow. I was saying it was good or not. <laughs> well, I'm sure back then, like, you know, it, it um, lucky we knew what we were doing. Back then, you're like, oh, yeah, the vagina, I feel good. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, you're making me spooge. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have to do it myself. Yep. And then I don't you know, just, then you just had to wait a little bit long, longer to get some other piece of ass. Yep. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Ruin, Ruin, you were kind of quiet. Because I was a good kid. I was the bad kid. I was always in the principal's office. Oh, I was, I, I was um, trouble fluid. <laughs> you were trouble fluid. I was that kid that couldn't sit still. I would walk on desks, and the the, the Spanish uh, background kids would have me write uh, Spanish cuss words on the chalkboard. I had no idea what these words meant. So here I am writing chinga <clears throat> on the chalkboard. And the teacher come in and read that, and she looked right at me. She point to the door, so I already knew. I'm going to the office. Like, Bye, Felicia. Here I go. <laughs> I learned a lot of curse words when I was in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, crap. It was a good thing, too. You had to pick up on those words when they were somebody was, you know, the girls were talking about you. Yep. Oh, they talk about you right in front of you. Yeah. Like, 
and, and then you pretend like you're not listening. <laughs> and then you're like, whatever, I don't care. I'm not going to date you, so go away. <laughs> my thing was, is how much is this going to cost? <laughs> I always look at it. I don't know. Come on, Ruin. You got anything rolling around in your head? Um, I can give a quick update and uh, a wave to our, our biggest fan. Um, I, I'm glad to know that you watched our last video and, you know, caught on that you forgot to remove me on friend list on Facebook. Oh, cool. Bye, I told Felicia. You. I told you she was going to do that once, she, once that video went up. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I know. It was, it was just funny. It made me giggle last night. I it took you. her long enough to figure it out, but, you know, know. But she probably had to remove me since I called her out, but, and she probably didn't like what I had said, you know, about her, that she's crusty and musty and all that, but, um, yeah, that's just my little kind of update since our last video. Yeah, we're kind of having a blast with this. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We're going to have to do uh, does next show when he, when he puts it together. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be like I don't know what it's gonna be. I, I like I had a good idea and I forgot to write it down and yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, I had let's... a moment. I had a shiny thought and it, it left, it ran away. It's yeah. Like, I, I, I don't like you. I, I get those too. That's that's why when something like comes up we have in our Discord channel a, a space that we write ideas and stuff because you don't write it down. It's it flies away. It flutters away like a butterfly that's lost. Anything well, it flutters away because we actually have a real life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, unlike some other people. Well, I can't say anything about that part of their aspect of their life because I, I don't live in their house. And I, I'm gonna, I'll refrain from speeching on that. Speeching on that? Speeching. 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 Speech. Speeching. Speechinating. Yo, know, speech. Yo, know, yakety yak. Don't talk back. Talk a lot of spec. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm like really dumb with that situation over there. I really don't care what they do. They can do whatever. They can say whatever. You know. Like you said, the other, the manager that came after me again. I don't, I don't really care. You know. It's like, there's no point. Is it dead horde? Yep, right now it is. It, Mr. Ed's now enjoy horse porn. <laughs> oh, a... can you say that on YouTube? Horse I porn. I don't know. <laughs> God. Mm. We'll have to find out, you know, once uh once it goes up and we'll have... now, this will be in the this will be in the you must be this old this right this right. <laughs> If you don't like this, don't watch it. Warning. Extensive language. Or, yeah. You should have put that in the beginning. <laughs> it's kind of late now. <laughs> well, it's always too late for that. If they got this right, they've already heard it. <laughs> We've done heard that already, mister. You got foul mouth. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, I've heard worse on here. Believe me. Uh, there's, there's much worse on YouTube, for sure. Yeah. I don't know. All right. They've been kind of cracking down on a couple channels I like to watch, like the donut operator guy. Donut the operator? Yeah, it's the guy that puts cop shooting or cops getting shot or, or shooting videos and gives his little synapses on it. Oh. And now YouTube's making them blur out or blur out guns and blur out um, um, faces and then uh, replacing gun noises with pew. You know, doing that kind of thing. Or duck noises. Quack, 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 quack. Yeah. They're, they're cracking down on a lot of stuff. Why, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Oh, I haven't run into that, but okay. Well, I've been running into that with a few people that I like to watch. Bizarre. It's bizarro. Yeah, everybody makes their own content first, one reason or another. Well, it wasn't an issue for like years. This guy's yeah. been on here, and then now all of a sudden, here we are. And 
2022, like, you can't say that anymore. Like, we're not on TV, G. <laughs> People have to click this stuff to watch it. Yet I scroll through my Facebook and I see violence all over the place. Well, then YouTube when I watch certain videos the same way. There's a lot of uh, pol police body cam videos too and you, you, you see a lot of that shit. Yeah, so I've been watching a lot of other stuff on Rumble because they don't filter their content like this place does. Uh, huh. All right. I guess we'll have to make a longer list of things to talk about in a short notice, huh? Yeah, yeah, like, you know, why do, why does Dr. Dell like eat crayons? God. Do you have a colorful shit? Maybe. The same you can get we, that with Kool-Aid. This is the same way we, we can eat rubber bands and you can just pick it up easier? Oh, wait, that's for I've, dogs. I've never eaten a rubber band. <laughs> oh, I used to shoot them at that, that the guy worked for the airline, so he used to stick them. I, my brother had a paper route, so we used to stick him in our socks, <laughs> start shooting each other at airports during layovers. Uh, oh my, my mom could never figure out where the hell we got all these rubber pants <laughs> from, and where they were coming from. She check our pockets, and we're like, "Why?" And we're back at it again. <laughs> oh my god! Th those were the days before you know the TSA was around. Yeah, I was just like one guy, metal detector, looks at it, make sure you're not bringing a gun on board oh, or whatever. Wow. I still remember nobody even, you could walk into the airport, walk up to the gate, and not have to deal with any of that stuff. You could still smoke on an airplane. Yeah, in the airport too. Yeah. Well, you can smoke at Dallas right now. And I only know that from experience of, you know, Layover. me not, yeah. Yep. Well, because they freaking sent my plane before I got to the airport. Yeah. Yeah, and now and now you make sure you find an airport that has a smoking room. Well, unfortunately, my ones coming home and going there don't. Oh. Yeah, it was too expensive to fly into Dallas again. Well, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it do. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> it happens. Oh, uh, that was back in the day when my grandfather was still, he was still building airplanes, and he'd look at a tail number, he'd look at us, and just we're not getting on this plane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, we're not getting on this plane. Wow, don't even trust the own engineering. All right. No, it's not that. It's just certain airplane aircraft were over certain problems, and oh, certain aircraft he didn't touch. He didn't work on them. He didn't work on all aircraft. He just worked on certain, certain, certain planes. Certain ones, yeah. That piqued his interest. Uh -huh. Our company was asking him how to do something because he was he was in the day before they had books and they built aircraft, aircraft frames. So that's what he was known for. And then when jets became a thing, he was he was an engine he was an engine engineer hmm. <laughs> and an airframe engineer. So he just start like. Then you look at these, like, L10, certain certain models of the L10-11, you look at the tail number, like, nope, not getting on that. Certain models of DC-10, you look at it, nope, we're not getting on that. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, when stuff was made, when, when stuff was drawn and engineered with a slide rule. Yep. No. Yeah, before they had engineering books. Yeah. And then they get the book smart crowd, the, the second generation of book smart people. And they're telling them that this thing, this engine can't do this certain thing that he knew that it could do. They're all telling them, according to this book, it says you can't do that. So, um, yeah, this company paid him to fly all the way out to this place where they're building this thing. And he pushed the button. Just told them that would work. And they all were standing there like, it did it, blah, blah. And they paid him bucks for that. I couldn't believe that. I'm like, wow. Boy. Uh, it's no wonder why things were built better you know, freaking 30 years ago compared to what they are now. Because they're over-engineered. They didn't want it to break. Like, you look at the bombers that were built, that, like some of the planes that he built during World War II. Yeah. So, some of those are still flying today. Yeah. Yeah. Some I've of seen, them, yeah. Seen some of them, but uh, what, um, uh, what did I watch last night? I watched some, 
I, I watched some guy tear apart a Kia car engine, and he was talking about how crappily made that they're that they're how cheap and how bad they're made, and and people flock to buy those things. Cause they're cheap. Yeah, they're cheap. The engine designs are simple. They, you know, they they have lots of issues because of how cheap they're made, and you know, just pumping out large numbers. So at least they're not <clears> as bad as an eighties. And 80s, what was it? No, late, late 80s, early 90s, Hyundai, Hyundai XLs. Those were crap. Those things depreciated by 50% the instant you drove off the lot with. Yeah. Well, I, the newspaper I used to work for, we had th- they had three of them on their fleet. There were 93 Hyundais. And um, they uh, by the time they got rid of them, they had over 200,000 miles on them. And they were smoking like a sieve, too. Well, the only thing good about them was the engine, because you're a Mitsubishi engine, and it wasn't even a top of the line Mitsubishi engine. It's a little crap four bagger. That's what. No, now nowadays it's the Kia and Hyundai are the same company, and they're and uh, watching this video and how cheaply everything is, and if they get low on oil because they burn them because the rings aren't good, the oil rings seize up in them and they get clogged up easy, so they burn oil. Oh yeah. Well, way. a lot of these new engines are burning oil because of the EPA BS. I mean, all this new smog stuff and like, oh yeah, it's they like make, the... they force them to use these tiny little engines, and then they're putting these huge turbos. Well, of stage one turbo, they're putting turbos on a little tiny one point two liter engine, and it, they're eating oil like like candy. Like everybody in the because I got an old Ford. And I belong to this one Ford F one fifty farm. Anybody with a newer Ford F one fifty, that thing's sucking oil down. And I'm like, why? Yeah. The um, well, yeah, because my van that I drive for work is a 2019, and it has a 3.5 liter V six in it, no turbo, and that thing goes through about a quart of oil and oil change in between an oil change. Um, my car goes through oil. But it's, it usually goes through about a half a quart between oil changes, but that's because of the stupid uh, the, ev- the the the, e- the the stupid breather system has no filter to filter out oil that comes off the valve cover and it goes right back into the engine and it burns it. So no, they got these catch cans you can put on that system. Now, yeah, so. yeah, I, I've actually looked at quite a few over the years. It's just a matter of trying to where you're going to put it, but. Um, <clears throat> my brother put one on his challenger or his charger and um he was said he was every oil change he was pulling out probably about a pint of oil out of it yeah i don't know mine does mine uses a quarter of a quart between uh oil changes and i do mine every three thousand miles because i got what a 93 yeah. 351 v8 in there so Cubic inch, three hundred and fifty-one cubic inches <laughs> under my hood. That's right. It's still a Windsor engine, though. Yes, it's a W. Yep, it's the Windsor. It's the same thing as like a three hundred two. Yep. Yeah, because I see. Well, my car's what a twenty fourteen. So, yeah, but yeah, we'll get. I haven't that. made a Windsor block in ages. Ages. I think that my my truck is the last generation of those engines. Yeah, the the OBS body ports and the new ones, the rowdy bodies. Yep. With their plastic intake manifold, I saw those. I'm like, that's not going to end well. <laughs> and then that V10 Triton. <laughs> I watched a video of somebody tearing one down, and, and um, three three of the cylinders were grenaded, and the it's just it's just incredible the damage that was in it yeah it was a, a v10 three valve oh yeah those were crap yeah and i they, mean they're a beautiful design if if they would have been built better but um for some reason they they, they self-destruct old. oh yeah yeah it's yeah if you don't change your oil or you don't keep up with your oil, it's like anything else i know because i'm on somebody else sitting here who's doesn't hasn't changed their oil yet now, a lot of these newer cars are having cab phaser issues. Like, what the fuck do you need a cab phaser? Oh, don't get me started. My car has four of them. It's, it's got photon torpedoes and cab phasers. Yeah, it's just your Star Trek mobile. 
my my car has four cam phasers because it's dual overhead cam, and I've already had to have a cam replaced in, within the first two years of owning it. So yeah, yeah. don't it? Yeah, I, I'm just like, what the hell are cam phasers? And I was told it's are controlled by the oil pressure and how much you throttle and timing. And I'm like, okay, it's enough. It's for enough. Whatever. Yeah, it's like the hydraulic lifters when they first came out with those. Those had issues. It's probably the same same principle. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It is a. It is a Chrysler product, or it is a Dodge. So. Well, the Fords are having the same uh, cab phaser issues too. So. Yeah. And then Chevy, the newer Chevys are just like their engines are self-destructing. So it's just, it's just like what's going on with quality. I'll see. It's you know. Oh, modern technology. Let's squeeze it in here and see how long it works. Oh, it doesn't work well. We'll just keep making it until we phase it out to make something else. Yeah, of course. We're gonna yeah, wait till we're gonna wait till all the cars become electric. Yeah, then what? Rolling blackouts from California will get you. Mm. <laughs> can't charge your car. You have a rolling blackout. Yeah. Oh, I can't get to work at a rolling blackout. Oh, damn it. Oh. Oh well. well. At least we're not paying, you know, twenty five grand for a new battery in your Tesla. So <laughs> Yeah. That, that sucks. Uh, or even a new or even the Toyota Prius is those batteries is about the same price too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get to I think we'll end this now that we're talking about other things, huh? <laughs> yep. Socks. Uh pants. All right. Yeah. You got anything Here's... got anything more to say there, Ruin? Nope, just look down in the description for all of the linkages and info. Um, yeah, that's about it. She's bored about this show. Damn. Um, uh, uh yeah, a little bit. She's a little bit tonight. <laughs> hey, I had to work today, dang it. Oh, no. I didn't. Yeah. I took today off. I know you didn't. So, yeah. Thank Put it me. back to work tomorrow. Wee, 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 wee. All right. Okay. Leaders. Later. Later. Bye bye.